Hello students and anyone else who may be watching from home. My name is Zan Zolo, also known as Mr. Borges, and we're back in Code Combat, ready to do our next level. So the last video, if you've been watching the videos with us, was the Haunted Kith Maze. And now we're going to move on to Descending Further, right? And there's usually a little red arrow, uh, sorry, yellow arrow that helps us with this. Or I can refresh the screen really quick here and we'll get our yellow arrow back. There we go. So yellow arrow helps you figure out the next place to go. Descending further. You will start to see a couple of these little blue flags around the map. And um, they're not free to do. Uh, and you never really have to do them. Right? They're just sort of like extra levels to help you learn a little bit more about certain ideas. But you never have to... Pay. They have to pay to do the blue ones, but you never have to pay to do code combat. All right, here we go. Descending further, I'm going to click on the level. It says use a loop. We learned about the while true loops last time. You're going to use a loop to navigate efficiently. For the win. Play. Looks like we're all good to go here. Nothing we need to equip. So goals. Goals. Your hero must survive. Important idea. You're going to grab the gem. You can see there's a gem at the end right here. And then there's ways you can get bonus, bonus XP and bonus gems. So by doing it in under five statements, you get a bonus. Let's go for that, right? The, the gems are going to let us buy more equipment. We're going to be able to get better armor, better swords, cool things. And then for having no errors in your code, there's a bonus. So we should always be striving to have no errors in our code. So we start the level. So this here, your hero must survive. Well, that's pretty easy to do as long as you don't run into the spikes a whole bunch of times over and over. Grab the gem. We still have that still on our to-do list. And then under five statements, well, we have zero statements right now, so we're on track for that and no problems. Well, there's no code yet. Okay, so navigate the maze in less than five um, statements. And as you can see, and I mentioned this when we did, um, was it the Haunted Kith Maze? I forget which level it was. But here you can see there's these little circular arrows. They look like little refresh buttons or something. These little circular arrows. These are the start over arrows. And they're just to help you out. Hey, maybe you don't need these at all. They're just to help help you recognize a repeating pattern of what's going on here. Right? So we're gonna write some instructions to get to here. And then we're just gonna basically use this idea of a while true loop to then repeat those same instructions another time. Right? So that's the big idea. So we're not, we're not gonna have to um, we're not going to have to write those instructions over and over and over. We're going to write them once with the while true loop. So we're going to type while and see it's already trying to help us out, right? We want, we'd like a while true loop, please. Right? The colon is important. It puts that in for us, but we should start to become familiar with the syntax and then this indent. Right? The indent is important because only stuff that's indented is going to be repeated. And then what we do is we write the instructions for one time through, and that's it, right? The loop is going to repeat those instructions over and over and over. So we make a plan for, right? When you see this repeating pattern, I mean, they've helped us find it, but we need to get to here. So we, we come up with some plan. We're gonna come up with a set of instructions to get from here to there, right? We're gonna use the methods that we have. We're gonna move right, we're gonna move right, and then we're gonna move down. Okay, so it's instruction for the hero. Hero dot move right. And we want to do that twice. So I'm going to go ahead and put that number two in there to make the hero move right twice. And then another instruction for the hero to move down. And I think that that's it, actually. All right, that's going to make our hero move. Move right, move right, move down, and then start over. Move right, move right, move down, and then start over. Move right, move right. <laughs> we'll have gotten to the gym. Now the hero may try to move down here still, but that's okay. There's no spikes there. If there were spikes there, we would have to we'd have to think about this a little bit differently. But since there's no spikes here, it's okay if the hero grabs the gem, moves down one more time, can't move down, and that's the end of the level. All right, T. So just go ahead and run this and try it out. Move right. Move right. Move down. Move down. Move right. Move right. And we're gonna have to watch the whole thing. You can see right here that it says success. I mean, it's going to work, so we can go ahead and click the done button. Right. If you want to watch your hero finish the level, you can, of course, go ahead and do that. All right, folks. So that's it for this one, Descending Further. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.